break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Welcome to the most informal video of life of ever at Coffee Break with Danny. On Coffee Break with Danny. At Coffee Break with Danny. Oh, Alright, hey. so this video needs to go live tomorrow. And uh, I'm barely filming it right now. So, um, I could pretty much surmise that uh, I'm kind of sucking at life right now. But it's totally fine because it's close and I don't need to be doing all this to show you guys all of this. Because you've seen a lot of it in my vlogs. If you don't watch my weekend vlogs, you are missing out on wasting an entire hour and a half of your life. <laughs> Just saying. So, this video is a full clothing haul. I know you guys are going to be like, Danny, I'm seeing way too much bra in this video, but you know what? We're all friends here. People have boobs. Let's just move on with the show. Okay. So these pieces for me are kind of like transitional pieces, pieces that could be worn right now that it's still hot pieces that could be dressed up or layered now that it starts to cool down. Uh, I hauled from Target and I hauled from Forever 21. So we're gonna get started with the pieces from Forever 21. All of the clothing that I hauled from Forever 21 is from their contemporary line. Now I do have a discount code available for you. Before we get into it, this video is not sponsored, but Forever 21 did give me a small gift card to make these purchases. And I may have still needed to pay money out of my own pocket because I wanted more clothes. Mm -hmm. Just saying. So Forever 21 was kind enough to offer you guys a discount code that I will flash up here on the screen and I will also list it in the description box below. It will get you a discount off any purchases that you guys decide to make. So if you feel so compelled after I show you guys all 400 pieces of clothing that I hauled from Forever 21, if you guys feel ever so compelled to make a purchase, there's going to be a promo code available to you guys. It's not affiliate. I'm not making commission. It's not a sponsored video. I just uh, want to share some clothes with you guys and you're my friend. And I just thought maybe you guys wanted to see the clothing that I picked out. And the fact that I have to make this disclaimer is a little bit frustrating because the last time that I did a clothing haul, I got so many comments from women that were like, your bra doesn't fit you properly. You need to wear a different kind of bra. Listen, when you're putting on like 60 pieces of clothing, the last thing you want to do is adjust it to the proper bra. So I decided to wear one strapless bra with all the shirts, which is what I do in all my clothing hauls. So if that makes you uncomfortable, this might not be a video that you enjoy. I promise you I know how to wear a bra. I was actually a bra specialist for Victoria's Secret for like, oh, three years, four years maybe. These days, you guys, it's all about efficiency. So let's go ahead and get started. The first shirt that I want to share with you guys is a lace top, and you're going to see a whole lot of bra if you wear this shirt. The reason that I wanted to show you guys how it looks just with the strapless bra is so that you can decide for yourself Considering how sheer it is, if it's something that you would be comfortable wearing, I am completely in love with the puffy sleeve because I feel like it's reminiscent of that like 80s style or trend that's coming back, but it does it in a really subtle, classy, elegant, kind of flirty way. Um, super cute. It has tapered sleeves, so it's going to be like really fitting down your slim arms. And then it buttons in the back, so it's going to give you a really firm like crew around the neck. And if you guys see the scallop at the bottom, the scallop lacing at the bottom, super, super, super cute. This I would wear with either a black bandeau or if it was closer to fall or winter where it's a little bit chilly, an actual black cami. Okay, so I'm not going to walk around with a nude strapless bra for the record, bra police. Um, the other shirt that I want to share with you guys is a chambray shirt. And you guys know if you walk into my closet, I have like a chambray shirt section. Um, I don't know, for some reason, I really, really, really like chambray shirts. As blue and denim -y as they are, they're very neutral. You know, it's like, a, it's like a closet staple. You could wear it with a pleated skirt. You could wear it with skinny jeans. You could wear it with moto pants. You could wear it with so many different things. You could wear it under like, um, under, what am I trying to say? under a jumper they're super super neutral the reason that I wanted to get this one is because it doesn't have a collar most chambray shirts have the pointy denim like sh shirt like a shirt collar this one has this little like ruffle detail and then it also has the ruffling 
from the shoulder down and it v-necks to the center so I thought that was kind of cute plus it's that pre-washed chambray so it's not gonna surprise and shrink like three sizes on you a shirt that I really thought I was gonna like and I still kind of like and I think I might put in like maybe two little stitches like two little dot stitches inside of it is this velvet shirt now this velvet shirt you guys can see on me is super low cut now given wearing the proper bra underneath I was wearing that strapless bra so if I wore the bra that I meant to wear with this they would look even bigger and be falling out more so I definitely have to put a little stitch in there or wear it with like a bralette that has some sort of lace halter or like a like a halter top where they're like all laced up through the front and they go around the neck it would look really cute moving on uh this is probably the my favorite piece of everything that i got from forever 21. this top is a cold shoulder ribbed sweater you know how i feel about cold shoulders and i feel like this is my perfect size for a top i feel like it was tailored to me it hugs my collarbone perfectly it like fits perfectly around my shoulders the length of the sleeve is exact it fits my like the sides of my of my torso perfectly it sits right at the waist i mean this is perfection not to mention that it's that rib material that it's like it's like a ribbed like a rib stretchy material but it's the heavier thicker kind the one that's actually going to keep you warm and not just look cute another controversial top um this top is stunning like i need to go to some sort of like engagement party or wedding or something to wear this with like really beautiful formal slacks obviously i wouldn't wear it with nothing underneath um with the proper undergarments this blouse is absolutely stunning can we talk about this cut like on the shoulders this is just it's almost like an ethereal shirt it's like a fairy like a fairy designed it like a fairy designer came up with it i don't know the color what is this like baby blue smoky gray like i just who cares? I need it in my life. Isn't it amazing? For those of you that are transitioning your work wardrobe into your fall wardrobe, how beautiful is this um, berry colored shirt? It's all about details. Look at my camera freaking out because of the color. Do you see how it cinches at the waist? So it has almost like a little bit of a peplum effect to it. Then it has the, um, I think this is called a bib, like a bib detailing in the front and then look at the back. Isn't that stunning? If you guys are bustier, you might need help taking it, putting it on and taking it off just because it doesn't stretch at all whatsoever. And so you would need to unbutton a lot of these buttons. But I mean, <laughs> la belleza cuesta, am I right? And then this sweater, I am so glad I got it in every color. Oh my God, you guys. This sweater is uh, amazing. It is, it has that like super cute i love when sleeves are like long like up to here i feel like it just i don't know it gives me that like really cute like cuddly flirty feeling and then it has one off the shoulder and then it has this long detail that wraps all the way around so even though it's a sweater even though it's warm you are going to have like that bare shoulder and for some reason i don't know when you show shoulders i don't know if this is very like 1940s or 50s or something but i feel like shoulders are kind of underrated you know, I would rather like flirt with a shoulder than like have my boobs hanging out. I don't know. I feel like shoulders just shoulders are so feminine and sexy. So I just speak. I just had to get both colors. Whatever, you guys. Just ugh, I see you looking at me with those judgy eyes. Then I got this really cool just pullover. I honestly didn't know that Forever 21 had pullovers. Look how cute this is. Isn't that amazing? And it's like a thicker material. It feels like a really high quality, thick, heavy pullover. It has this little drawstring in the front. I love like the cowl neck detail. I feel like it's a lot more, whenever I see a cowl neck, I feel like it just dresses up the piece more. It just makes it seem more elegant than just, I don't know, a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Super cute. My second piece, my second favorite piece that I hauled from Forever 21 is this shirt. I've been wanting a shirt like this for a very long time and this is a piece that not everyone is gonna like it's not gonna be everyone's style a because of the sleeve it's a it's like a balloon I think it's called the balloon sleeve I don't know it has a special name so it's a very puffy low-hanging balloon type sleeve 
The collar of this shirt, it's literally supposed to hang right off the edge of your shoulder. So that might be comfortable for some of you, or if the cut isn't right, like if you have narrow shoulders, or if you have a very small bust, it's just gonna fall. So there's that. And then the other reason is it has this really long, um, I don't know, tie or bow feature. I got it in a medium. I'm normally a small in Forever 21, and I'm really glad I got it in a medium because I feel like if I had gone with the small, it wouldn't have been as comfortable. So I this is my second favorite. I would wear this with like a yellow skirt or maybe like um, distressed, uh, why can't I think right now, with distressed uh, white jeans. So there's that. This white one is another off the shoulder. It's really flowy, it's really comfortable. It's gonna look great with any color pants. You could probably even pair it with a skirt if you wanted to. It's off the shoulder. I know it looks short right now, but once it's off the shoulder, the um, middle portion hangs a little bit lower so you could do like the little half tuck into your jeans or whatever. Super cute. I love neutral pieces. This one is another one of my favorites, and this one I'm gonna have trouble wearing because I need to find the perfect undergarment for it. I don't know if I just wanna pair it with a black strapless bra, or if I'm gonna try and find like a really cute um, like lacy bralette that I can wear underneath that's purposely gonna show, but it's not going to take away from the piece. It's halter in the essence that it ties around the neck, but it's also cold shoulder because it has sleeves. It's kind of a confusing piece. It's like a cold shoulder slash halter top, whatever. It's super cute, isn't it? I love black and yellow too. I feel like it's perfect for fall, even though it's a little sheer and sexy. And Okay, it's a transitional piece. This lavender little number is a nightmare. It is a nightmare to put on. It's a nightmare to take off. It's a nightmare to hang up. It doesn't fit properly. Like, it's such a struggle. But once I get it on, I'm like, oh, it's too cute. Kind of want to keep it. I mean, fashion tape does miracles, you guys. I just don't know if I want to go through the struggle. I swear, if, if I showed you guys the raw footage of me putting this on to model it for you guys, it's probably like 15 minutes. It was like tangled and turned and it just, it's confusing. <laughs> it's a confusing garment, you guys. Look at, what is this? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? But it's so cute. Once you put it on, you're like, oh. Man, I kind of need it. Another piece from Forever 21 is this jacket. I know you guys are judging me. It's a mustardy brown baby vomit stretchy velvet jacket. I promise you guys with like my Guns N' Roses distress tank and some torn jeans, it's gonna look super cute. I actually think it would even look cute with just like cute feminine clothes, like um, a white button down or maybe something that's a little bit more flirty and sheer and sexy. I don't know, I just really, really love the color. It's velvet. And then I thought, when I get a jacket like this, like a structured jacket just like this, the material's usually pretty hard, stiff, and like uncomfortable. It's usually suede or leather, right? This one, it's soft and it's hanging and it's like, it's warm. And I just feel like you're getting the effect of the type of structured jacket in a really soft, cuddly material. No, am I just trying to find excuses to convince you to like this? You guys, it's, it's really cute. The last piece from Forever 21 is this uh, cold shoulder uh, white and black pinstripe shirt. And I wanted to show it to you guys last because I paired it with another item that I got from Target. And I actually got this outfit inspiration from my friend Hilda. We, we always end up like, having the same clothes. And it's not like we planned it or we go shopping together. She's just like, oh, look at this shirt. And I'm like, wait, that skirt, can you show me what you're wearing below? I have that skirt, it's from Target, you know? So she actually wore this skirt that I'm about to show you with a t-shirt that was a white and black pinstripe, just like this. So I got this just so we would match and we could be twins. Uh, super cute, right? I love that it's a cotton, it's kind of like a button down shirt, but it still has that little flirty ruffle and the cold shoulder. And I paired it with this skirt from Target. This is from one of their newer brands and Target's really pushing this brand right now. It's called A New Day. Um, this is just a pleated maxi, midi maxi skirt in a really bright, bright like goldenrod yellow. So a midi 
maxi skirt so it goes about to my knee I would say I don't remember maybe a little bit lower but paired with this white uh, black and white pinstripe shirt it looks super cute I'm just gonna zip through these two really quick because you saw them in a weekend vlog already so these are the rest of these pieces are from Target um I wore this um, on a really comfy like fun relaxed date so I paired this Led Zeppelin um, kind of like rocker chic type tee with this varsity looking cardigan and these are both from uh, Target. This is from the Mossimo brand, which is probably like their most popular brand. Oh, it smells good. It still smells like my perfume. <laughs> and so I paired these together, so it kind of gave me that like nerdy, chic, comfortable look. I'm not spending too much time on them because you've already seen them, along with these here as well. So um, you guys saw in my weekend vlog when I actually purchased these um, pieces, um, I showed you guys this in my subculture palette review. I also wore it out um, on my girls' night when I went out with Hilda. So I do have the same one in the other color. So I wanted to just kind of like show them to you guys again, even though you've seen them probably like in four other videos. Um, along with those, I got these other ones. And these come in like five different colors. I think they have yellow, black, like a maroony type reddish velvet color. Um, I got it in two different colors. I love how these fit. They're flowy and comfortable, but they still look, they make you look chic. You know what I mean? It's a comfortable shirt, but you're still gonna look chic in it. Then, another cold shoulder top. I couldn't resist. When I was younger, probably like in my late teens, early 20s, I was obsessed with like leopard print everything. So when I saw this at Target, it's a cold shoulder um, with like a bell sleeve. I was like, well, cold shoulder and leopard print is very fall. I totally justified my way into getting this shirt, you guys. My bad. And then this shirt. Why does everything have to be yellow? Look how beautiful it is though. Look, even the camera's freaking out at how bright it is. This is actually embroidered onto the shirt. So it's not like a screen print or anything. It's embroidered onto the shirt. It has a really cute little button in the back. So you're gonna have that little round keyhole. And then the sleeves are like kind of like a little ruffly or they kind of like fan out a little bit. I don't know, I thought it was cute and really feminine. Is it cute? Okay, you like it, don't you? Um, I think it comes in another color too. Now that I think about it, I'm getting way too comfortable. You see me slumping in my chair? And then the last thing was this jacket. When I got this jacket, I was like super, super, super in love with it. And then when I got home and I started hanging things up in my closet, I realized last year when I did my fall haul, I got like four other military green or like camo green jackets like this one. So she's gonna join her sisters, but just so you know, I realized I have a problem. <laughs> so, isn't it beautiful? I love that it's military inspired, but it's still like, bam, feminine. Like, let me just smack some roses on there and I'm gonna dress it up and make it girly, even though it's still kind of like a masculine looking piece. Um, and then it also has these draw drawstrings that actually work. So if you wanted to make it even a little bit more feminine, you could cinch it on the waist and give it more of a, a girlier, more feminine look. You know what I mean? All right, you guys, I feel like I need um, a gallon of water. Like I'm a little parched from talking so long. I do apologize that this video is so long, but it was, you know, this is what happens when I wait to do a clothing haul because then I just get more stuff and get more stuff and get more stuff. So a couple of things, reminders. I do weekend vlogs, so if you wanted to actually see these outfits in play, how I use them, how I style them, the shoes that I wear, watch my Saturday vlogs. So I post an hour to an hour and a half long weekend or lifestyle type vlogs on Saturday mornings, and usually you see all of this clothes in action there. The other thing is um, I will list and link as many of these pieces as I can find for you guys. I'm pretty sure they're all still available. Maybe not in all sizes, but I'm pretty sure I could still find them. And I'm also convinced that some of these Target pieces also come in plus size, which is a super, super added bonus. And then the last thing is the Forever 21 pieces. If you guys wanted to be twins like me or if you wanted to do a Forever 21 purchase, I will have a discount code in the description box below. It's gonna give you some money off your purchase. It's not affiliate, which means I'm not making commission. It's just there because 
they just want to be nice to you guys, which I don't blame them. I think you guys are pretty awesome. And I think that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this very informal, very long clothing haul. And uh, you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.